All right, we're on. All right, welcome to Gaston. Should I print? I'm sure it was. Anyways, this is a video. This is a video about um, the disenchantment of the world, which uh, Max Weber had written in the mid 1800s. He wrote a, uh, I guess, a essay or no, a um, a treatise, I guess you could say, about how the world had become disenchanted and more, learned to embrace modern science. This goes back to the days of Francis Bacon, which I'm not a big fan of, everyone knows that, um, who basically took the ideas of, basically, melding what is now today modern science and took out the mystical and the, the um, superstitious ideas out of it. Now there was a one guy named Ludwig Clodges, who was definitely who was I think he was in Austria. Austria is a definite place where a lot of mystical stuff goes down. Um, a lot of people were there were chasing ghosts, trying to figure out specters, uh, witch covens, and everything like that. And the occultic side, Ludwig Clodges was a big time occultist, which is weird because the Frankfurt School took a lot from him, Ludwig Clodges. Now, Ludwig Collages was definitely an anti-Semite, which I guess, you know, Adorno, Horkheimer, and all those, Ben Walter Benjamin tolerated. <laughs> they were okay with it. But a lot of their stuff is ripped off from him. The critique of modern society and from a sort of a neo-occultic pagan roots that they have given, that he had given in a lot of his writings. This critique of modern society, how that every time that anybody makes the idea that something might be out there, it begs the question. It begs the question and needs to be investigated. And science tries so hard to keep up with the occult, and it never does. Because there's so much mystical things that can't be explained by mere material science. A lot of things such as specters, um, hauntings, stuff like hauntology, basically. You know, that can't be explained. They can't be explained by, you know, living the present, the past, the future, you know, dreams and stuff like that. My roommate, he's been having recurring nightmares and um, wondering if this is a portal to another world. And whether the critique of, say, the modern society being so grounded in the sort of, like, everything is explained by statistics. And not always, because... There's a lot of things you can't explain. Ghosts, you can't explain. Aliens, you can't explain any of these things. Oh, they don't exist. But can you prove it? It begs the question, can you prove it? Do they exist? Do they exist? Are they illusions of the mind? Is the mind merely just brain matter that's connected by neurons? How? What causes those neurons to act? What causes them to have the electricity? Where does the electricity come from? It keeps going down the rabbit hole where you started getting down to the bare knuckle belief of the, of this whole entire idea where, <coughs> excuse me, where there's a lot of people who definitely believe in the atomization theory, the theory that everything is just merely just atoms in space. What's well, less than an atom, though? I'd like to see them explain that. And this also goes further that how modern society definitely acts. It atomizes individuals and turns us into... You know, disconnected people that we don't have any sort of like connected culture, and this atomization about um, excuse me, down there um, this whole entire attitude that everyone should be you know, self-sufficient and everything like that, and not rely on the superstition, so base material science and everything like that, and also remain closed off in the world. Which, you know, the internet and all this sort of, like, you know, technology has, has done that to us. And I've said that in a previous video. And Ludwig Collages talked about how humanity could descend. Like, the Frankfurt School would write books on critiques. The critical theory about how humanity could descend to so much barbarism. How we can't find any sort of connection with one another or sort of kinship bonds. Which has, you know, they, they, st they ripped a lot of it from Collages. And Collages, um, which is weird because a lot of the Frankfurt School, on one hand, on the, on the left, this is actually my left, and the right definitely were 
sort of can interconnect it, although the Frankfurt School denied it. Freud even was the one who was somebody who battled with the occult. He had an interest in the occult, and yet he was not somebody who, you know, up with his, with his clientele would explain that he had an interest in the occult, that he was very closed away from the public about his, his beliefs. And so many people like Karl Marx was an occultist. And a lot of people from both the Marxist left and the 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 um and the traditionalist right had more in common than one might think that all this cosmology and this sort of, you know, mysticism all had connections to one another through both sides of the political It's probably, you know, does prove the horseshoe theory, which I hate to admit. But the idea, the reason why I'm opposed to the horseshoe theory mostly has to do with the fact that usually anything can be justified. Anything can be nuanced to a point where there's no actual beginning or end to anything. Where everything connects to one another. The Quion theory. <clears throat> but like I said, <clears throat> a lot of the problems of modernity, in my opinion, is an opinion piece is the fact that we've become so uprooted from the spiritual and the earthen needs of of based by by science and technology and its furthering of this ideal human being where we forgot where we were once ideal human beings we were ideal human beings and yes war is a part of that women are a part of that they're all part of that we all have to deal with the slings and arrows of, of 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 the world as it as it stands, and war ideal before science came along. Science didn't need to perfect things, to change things, to play God. This whole entire idea is that science replaced it, this mysticism with this whole entire belief in science, and evidently humans have been trying to play God for the last two centuries, two and a half centuries, and now I've paid the dear price for it. And basically have angered the spirits of the old gods or God himself or any of the entities out there. And the rise in sort of uh, this sort of like mystical rebellion that's occurring both on the left and the right, uh, especially with the younger generations, is, is something to behold. And a lot of things, you know, whereas, you know, a lot of, even people I've noticed, I've known some people on the left who have an interest in the occult. I'm pretty sure that Fimble does. I'm sure, I know that my one friend Forrest does. There's a lot of people I know who have an interest in the occult who happen to be left-wing. This whole interest in the, the darker regions, the nether regions, the, 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 demonology of the working class is sort of a class divisionary mysticism, everything like that. Everything's all coming together and forming this sort of like passive, passive aggressive you know how would you put it? Um, mystical resistance to the tried true realms of, of basically capitalism and evangelism and everything like that that has been rotten through society since the 50s and try to bring back that whole entire mystical attribute to it and it's threatening it's threatening to the boomer population they don't want to admit that they don't want to admit they're threatened by it you know they're threatened by this whole thing <clears throat> they dismiss a lot of things the evangelicals especially dismiss it all superstition or demon possession that's still somewhat lends a credence to the alcohol. And something occultic is still in your mind. It's living rent free there. So, take it as you will. Anyways, I will talk to you later. Um, subscribe, subscribe, bell for notifications, whatever side it's on, I don't know. This thing's all backwards. Um, bell for notifications, I will talk to you soon. Alright, I'll finish my camaraderie. See you later.